Okay, the second part of the data display video is going to be looking at correlation. And correlation takes the idea of looking at two different aspects and how do they relate to each other. For example, if I spend more time studying, what's going to happen to my grades? Usually, the more I study, the better my grades are. And so that could be listed as a positive correlation because as you study more, you're going to have a movement in the positive direction. And so we're going to look at that idea of correlation and what happens when you look at scatter plots. And there's various things that we have to look at when we look at a scatter plot. A scatter plot is a device that all the data that belongs in this particular system of data is placed on the scatter plot. Now, when we look at this particular scatter plot, is there any kind of coalescing into a line? Well, I could draw a line like this, I could draw a line like this, I could draw a line like this, Ooh, I could draw a line like this. I could decide on any two points and draw a line but it doesn't come together into a line. It's not coalescing at all. So therefore, this particular stat scatter plot has no correlation at all. Okay, so that's one way we can decide what is a scatter plot and what it is going to look like. There are various things that we have to know about a scatter plot. First of all, the first question to ask ourselves is, is it linear. In other words, does it form some kind of a line? And as you see, this first scatter plot we did had no line at all. So, what would look like a line in a scatter plot? We're going to do several examples here. Okay, that kind of coalesces into a line. You see, I can kind of go like this. It kind of pulls together a little bit. And that line is in one direction. Now let's look at this one. As you look at that scatter plot, I know it's hard to see the dots. See, let's make them a little bigger. Maybe they'll show up better. When we look at this scatter plot, you can see that although it doesn't form, everything doesn't fall on the same line, in actuality, it kind of goes in a downward trend, kind of pulling together along that line. Okay, now let's look at something else. Now look at that one, if you can see it. It kind of goes up and over like that. This actually forms a grouping something like this, but that is not linear. Since this is not linear, it cannot be a linear correlation because it is not linear, okay? We already did a scatter plot that had no correlation at all. We also can have scatter plots that show linearness, but it's not super clear. It's more scattered. Okay, that has kind of an upward trend to it, as you can see but they're more scattered than this one here, which is a lot closer. See, that one runs with more linearness pulled in closer than this one. It's more spread out. And so therefore, this one is linear, but it's not as strong a linear as like this one is. So the three things you're going to look at in your correlation for that part of the assignment. First of all, is it linear? If it is not linear, 
and it is not a correlation, then that's the only choice would be no correlation if there's no correlation. Okay? Or is it linear? If it's not linear, then it is not a linear correlation. Okay? Not a linear correlation. So those are two choices that you have in your choices of the scatter plots you're going to look at. The next question yourself, you're going to ask yourself is, is it strong or weak? Let's see how it's put a G on my word strong. Is it strong or weak? This one is weak. This one is strong. You see the difference? So, is it strong or weak? And the third question you're going to ask is, is it positive or negative? Is it positive or negative? If as you move from left to right, it is increasing or going uphill, it is positive, so this one is positive. This one down here, it's decreasing or going downhill, so this one is negative. This one again is positive. So, is it positive? Is it negative? <coughs> is it strong or weak? And is it linear? And once you've answered those questions, then your choices are going to be something like strong, positive, linear, correlation. Or weak, positive, linear, correlation. Or strong, negative, linear correlation, or weak, negative, linear correlation, or not a linear correlation, or no correlation. So those could be the possible six answers that you can give to the four problems on 441 or actually eight problems on 441, one through eight. So that gives you the choices that you have about correlation and what you're going to do with that correlation. So have fun guys, and that's the end of the lecture that we did before spring break.